transmission technology. Topic for today's presentation is a study on anomaly detection with deep learning models for IoT time series sensor data. This study was done under the guidance of Professor Raghu Vamsi, sir. Let me introduce to the research. Internet of Things networks consist of huge number of sensor devices to sense and report various sensor readings of the corresponding environment where they have been deployed. The volume and velocity of the data generated by these sensors are huge over a period of time. Due to the deployed environment, cause of the abnormal events in the observing environments, the reporting data consists of noise or outliers. An anomaly is a deviation or exception from the normal value. An anomaly is an occurrence that occurs infrequently or does not fit the model and thus appears suspicious in the collected data. Examples of the anomalies are short bursts of activity, text errors, a sudden and rapid decrease or increase in the temperature, etc. Exceptions are commonly caused by data preparation errors, noise, cheating, and attacks. The process of detecting these risks is known as anomaly detection. Now the objective of the research. As sensor data generated, generated by various wireless sensors, which has multiple distinct features, sensor networks have recently become a popular topic of research study, particularly from, a, from the standpoint of data processing. Sensor network data anomalies could indicate that one or more sensors are malfunctioning or that they are detecting events that are of interest, of interest to analysts. As a result, sensor network anomaly detection can detect sensor failure, infiltration, or even both. Sensors that capture binary, discrete, continuous, audio, video, and other types of data can be all found in a single sensor network. The data is also dispersed necessitating the use of a distributed data mining approach to examine it. Additionally, the presence of noise in the sensor's data make anomaly detection more difficult because it is important to distinguish between interesting outliers and missing values or unwanted interference. To this end, this paper proposed to study three deep learning models such as variational autoencoders, one class support vector machine, and generative adversarial network for detecting anomalies in network and sensor data. Some of the related works to, of these deep learning models. Author MJ Kusner suggested a variational autoencoder that directly encodes from and decodes to these sparse trees in order to ensure that the outputs are always synthetically valid. Author A. Vadat and J. Kotz offer Nomia variational autoencoders a deep hierarchical variational autoencoders using batch normalization and depth-wise separable convolutions. Author Z. Wang's particle sum optimization is used to optimize the OCSVM's parameters to speed up the method's convergence and help it move away from the local optimized optimal position. This study recommends the improved PSO algorithm for partner parameter optimization. Author T. Shegel suggested using a special anomaly scoring system based on mapping from image space to a latent space with Anogen, a deep convolution generative adversarial network, to learn a variety of typical ano anatomical vari variances. The model evaluates picture patches to show how well they fit the learned distribution and categorizes anomaly when applied to new data. Optical coherence tomography scans of the Scans of the retina reveal that the technique correctly identifies abnormal images, such as those containing retinal fluid or hyperreflective foci. Now, let me introduce to the deep learning models used for the research. The first one being variational autoencoders. Autoencoders are used to produce output from the encoded input, which is as similar as the input data. This is achieved by dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction in autoencoders is pulled off by containing and storing only the most important correlations among the data in the latent space representation. However, autoencoders lack the capability to generate any new data. Variational autoencoders are such autoencoders that have regularized training and verify that latent space has good properties to generate content. 
in order to have regular regularization in the latent space input data is, is encoded as a distribution instead of a single point the variational autoencoders consist of a reconstruction term which is to train the encoder decoder as successfully as possible and a regu regularization term whose job is to regularize the latent space resembling the distribution very closely to the normal distribution the second model which was used was one class support vector machine support vector machine a supervised machine learning algorithm can be used for the classification of data depending upon the number of features in the data set one class support vector machine as the name suggests works on a single class the classification is done by creating a hyperplane among the given data and then classifying whether the test data is an inlier or an outlier one class cl classification by scolpoff is achieved by creating a hyperplane a decision boundary that differentiates where the test data point will lie the plus 1 represents the high density region and the minus 1 represents the low low density region one class classification by tax and duen is achieved by creating a hyper hypersphere for the decision boundary this hypersphere's volume is kept to a minimum to lessen the impact of adding outliers to the solution the third model which was used for the study was generative adversarial network gan are unsupervised and based on deep learning and generative models the model of gan comprises of two sub models the generator model and the discriminative model to generate new values or samples from the training data set the generator model is used a prediction from the discriminative model is made on the real or generated inputs to classify them as real or fake with fake meaning the generated value now let me share the simulation setup for our research time series sensor data set is considered to evaluate the deep learning models ocsvm and gan presented in the previous section and the kdd cup 99 data set was used to study variational autoencoders for the evaluation from the time series data set we considered eight sensor readings sensor readings <coughs> precision recall and f measures are considered for evaluating the performance of the models tp is the true positives fp is the false positives fn is the false negatives and tn is the true negatives the f score or f measure combines precision and recall into a single score that attempts to balance both concerns in addition to f measure we are measuring the training time for the deep learning models training time is a critical factor in the deep learning models as they take long time to train the model We have conducted the simulation on the Intel i5 3320M dual core processor with 12 GB RAM using Python programming in the Anaconda environment. Now the results of our study: variational autoencoders is applied on the KDD Cup 99 data set for identifying the abnormal data. The data is divided into train and test data of 80% and 20% respectively. Adam optimizer is used with the learning rate as 0.0001 and clip value as 0.5 and the layers used for encoding and decoding respectively are 121 40 121 the training was conducted with 30 epochs it is observed that precision recall and f1 score of normal data is observed as 0.91 0.98 and 0.94 respectively and for abnormal data as 0.98 0.90 and 0.94 respectively overall the variational autoencoders is showing the f1 score as 94% on the kdd cup dataset in detecting the anomalies results for gan a time series sensor data of eight sensors are considered for studying gan this dataset consists of 509632 records out of which sample of data is considered for study GAN is trained with 1000 epochs with noise dimension as 100 and batch size as 64. It is observed from the simulation results that at 0.05 optimal probability the accuracy of GAN in detecting the anomalies found to be 0.91. It 
it means with 91% accuracy the gan is able to identify the anomalies results from one class class one class support vector machine the results from the ocsvm can be inferred by the confusion matrix which tells that 15260 samples are predicted correctly result summary in the considered data set it is observed that vae is able to detect the anomalies with 98% accuracy gan is also performing at its best in learning imbalanced data set and discriminating the data however it need more number of epochs as compared to variational auto encoders after 1000 epochs the accuracy score ob observed as 91% OCSVM is showing its best when the number of anomalies are low in the data set but it is also observed that OCSVM is falsely identified identifying two number of abnormal data as normal among these three models gan took long time to train the data and OCSVM took shorter time in classifying the data conclusion and future work of our study we propose a study on the functioning of deep three deep learning models namely variational auto encoders generative adversarial networks and ocsvm for detecting anomalies in the time series network and sensor data the study was conducted using the benchmark kdd curve 99 and time series data set it is observed that in the deep learning models the variational auto encoders exhibiting faster compilation and training on the other hand by using gan it is found that compilation of the model and training time is taking long as compared to vae and ocsvm vae is a good working is a working good as compared to conventional gan the third model ocsvm outperforms the other two models in predicting the data values it can be concluded that vae and ocsvm is outperforming in terms of predicting the data as compared to gan at the cost of training time with these observations as future work we attempt to investigate other deep learning models with huge and and multivariate data sets thank you